Good evening, students. We're back here with Matt and Mr. Sa. By looking at the background, you'll be able to know that in this video, we will be solving a little bit about algebra, or in other words, the identities of algebra. So let's let's get to the first identity. So these three are the most common used identity for middle school students. Before getting to a plus b whole square, let's get through a little bit about the basics. So let us say we have a to the power of 2, a raised to the power of 2. This is same like a multiplied by a. Okay, guys, if you have a to the power of 4, this is same like a times a times a times a. All right, same way, let's take a number. If we have 7 to the power of 2, it is same like 7 multiplied by 7, which is equal to 49. All right, guys, so now we have gone through that. Now, let me take rid of this so we can go back to the identity. All right, now, so what we have here is a plus b to the power of 2. Now, what that means is it's same like a plus b multiplied by a plus b. But guys, that's what it means. So we take a plus b and multiply with a plus b. So let us break the brackets. So what do we have here? What should we do? We should take the first, the first term and multiply by the first term. So what do we have? We have a multiplied by a, which will give us a to the power of 2. Then we have a multiplied by b. So what did we do? We took the first term of the first bracket, we multiplied it with the first term of the second bracket, and then we take the first term of the first bracket and multiply it with the second term of the second bracket. All right, guys, now since all of the signs here are plus, we would also use the plus sign. But what do we have here? We have a multiplied by b, which should give us a b. All right. What do we do next is we would use the second term. So we take the second term of this first bracket and multiply with the first term of the second bracket. So what do we have? We have b multiplied by a would give us b a. And one more we do is we take b and multiply with b. All right, guys, the second term of the first bracket multiplied with the second term of the second bracket. And we have b multiplied by b would give us b to the power of 2. Now, here is where some students get confused. Now, a, b, and b, a are like terms. Like terms means when the variables are the same. It is same like saying 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. However you swap the terms, the final answer would be the same. Okay, guys? And so what do we have here? We have 1 AB in algebra. If there is 1, we would not write the number. So we have 1 AB plus 1 AB here. So let us write the final answer now. What do we have? We have a to the power of 2 plus 1 AB plus 1 AB would give us 2. A, B plus B to the power of 2. So this is the identity of A plus B whole square. Okay, guys? Now let us go to the second identity. A minus B to the power of 2. It is same like A minus B multiplied with A minus B. All right, guys? Same like last one. We take the first, multiply with the first, and we take the first, multiply with the second. But here, the signs do matter because we have the minus sign. So what do we have here? We have a multiplied by a would give us a to the power of 2. And now we have a multiplied by b would give us a b. But what do we have here? We have the minus sign. Right, guys? So in front of a, we have the plus sign. And in front of B, we have minus sign. And we all know that plus 
multiplied by minus is equal to minus. All right, guys. So we put the minus sign. Now we do the same thing with the second term. Second multiplied by first. Second multiplied by second. So what do we have here? We have minus b multiplied by a would give us minus b a. And minus b multiplied by minus b. And we know that minus multiplied by minus is equal to plus. So we have minus b multiplied by minus b, which would give us minus b squared. Again, pretty similar from the last question. Minus a b and minus b a are like terms. And the final answer is a to the power of 2 minus 2 a b plus b to the power of 2. And we've got to write the plus sign. Okay, guys, it is very similar to the first identity, except the first sign would change from plus to minus. And the last one, what do we have is a minus b and a plus b. So what we do, we take first, multiply by first, we take first, multiply by second. So what we would have right now is a multiplied by a would give us a to the power of 2. a multiplied by b would give us a b. And we see here there's a plus sign. Here there's a plus sign. So the sign would be plus. Now we take second term multiply first, second term multiply by second guys now what do we have here we have minus b multiplied by a so minus times we know that minus multiplied by plus is equal to minus so we would have negative b a and again minus multiplied by plus would also give you negative so we have negative b to the power of 2 and if you take a look at this we have plus a b minus b a it's same like plus a b minus a b so if we have plus three minus three it is equal to zero so we can straight away cut these terms and what we are left with is a to the power of two minus b to the power of two so these are the basic three identities that you guys must know now let us solve a few questions using these identities. Let us say I have 2x plus 5 to the power of 2. So we know from the identity that a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Right, guys, so in this question, uh, the value of a, the value of a is equal to 2x and the value of b is equal to 5. All right, guys, coming back from where we started. So we have 2x plus 5 to the power of 2 and we know that uh, the value of a is 2x and the value of b is equal to 5. So we will use this formula to solve this question. For well, the first thing, we have a to the power of 2. So, value of a is 2x. So, we would have 2x to the power of 2. And then we have plus 2ab. Our value of a is 2x. Or we can write it down. Our value of a is 2x. And value of b is equal to 5. Right, guys? So, we have plus 2 times. 2x times 5. Let me put them in brackets so it's more easy to see. And then we have plus b squared. Our value of b is equal to 5. So we would have 5 to the power of 2. And now let us solve 2x to the power of 2. We have 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. And we have x multiplied by x is x to the power of 2. Then we have plus 2 times 2 times 5 would give us 20. Plus 20 multiplied by x 
And at the last, we have 5 to the power of 2, which is 25. So 2x plus 5 raised to the power of 2. This would be our final answer. Now let us do one more when we have second identity. Let's say we have 2x minus 5 to the power of 2. Okay, guys? And again, a minus b to the power of 2 identity formula is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, guys? Now, I'm going to write the values of a and b here so it's easier for you two guys to see. So, our a is 2x and our b is 5. Okay, guys, but here we also have the sign. So, what would we have here? Step number one, we would have 2x raised to the power of 2 minus 2 multiplied by 2x and multiplied by 5. And then we have plus 5 raised to the power of 2. Okay, guys? And the final answer, what do we have? 2x to the power of 2. We would get 4x to the power of 2 minus 2 times 2 times 5 is 20. And multiplied by x, we have 20x plus 5 to the power of 2 is 25. Okay, guys. So if you took a look at this, the only thing that changes is the second sign. Now let's do one more question of the last identity. Let us say we have 2x plus 5 and we have 2x minus 5. And what do we know? a minus b multiplied by a plus b. The identity is equal to a square minus b square. Right, guys, so here our a is 2x and our b is 5. So this is same like a plus 5, a, uh, a minus b. Alright guys, which is equal to a to the power of 2. We have 2x to the power of 2 minus b square, which is 5 to the power of 2. And what do we have? 2x to the power of 2 would give us 4x to the power of 2 minus 5 to the power of 2 is 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. But guys, now, these identities will make your life easier once you get the knack of it. And these identities are very important for algebra and also linear equations and whatnot. So, if you can remember these main three basic ones, it will be really helpful for you guys. And uh, again, it's coming to the end of the video. I hope you all gained some knowledge from it and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Until next time, guys, have an amazing evening.